Hey guys, it's Karen from Our Fall Acrylics. How are you? It's Martin Luther King Day. Love ever hate. That's all I gotta say. Um, I'm gonna show you how uh, I did my balloon smash. I actually recorded the whole thing. Um, it was like three videos that I was gonna splice together. And I thought I was done with it and woke up this morning and decided it wasn't completed. Um, Cause I'm not totally happy with the composition. So I'm gonna add some more smashes. And I thought I could just show you um, how I do that then rather than make you watch a 55 minute video of me smashing balloons. It just seemed really boring. So um, that way you can, I can talk about my process, do a couple smashes and be done. Um, before I get started, uh, I don't have anything to show you. My last one, the, uh, the sandwich pour is still on the drying table. Um, but I needed to give a shout out to the gal who um, contacted me to make a blue painting um, in memory of uh, her sister who recently passed. And it's been a couple weeks. I can't find our correspondence anywhere and I haven't heard from her. And um, I don't want to assume that I've been ghosted or anything. So if you're watching, can you drop me a line? Um, your, your paintings are, are finished. It was, I forgot, I forgot the orientation, but basically it was these guys. I forget how they go together, but they're, they're done and ready and glazed and looking really great. And um, I like to get them off in the mail to you. So if you can, uh, Drop me a line. So with that said, and the public service announcements, let me get you down on the canvas and show you what I've got so far. So this is my take on the balloon smash. Um, shout out to an artist. I don't think she has a YouTube channel. She's on Instagram. It's Jennifer Ann Fine Art. She, as far as I know, is one of the original uh, artists who have come came up with this style of painting she's been doing it at least for a year and a half if not longer <clears throat> and I wanted to recognize her because uh, she's the, she's the pro at it I saw when I first started doing a fluid acrylic pouring um, I wasn't on the pouring page I was on the acrylics basics page and this was popular about a year ago and I had practice <clears throat> I had practiced a couple then and I have a frog in my throat <coughs> excuse me there we go uh, and uh, it seems to have come back around to the acrylic pouring page so with that said what I did was I painted my my background blue instead of white just for that extra pop of color um, there is no pouring medium recipe or anything. All I did was add Floetrol, a little bit of Floetrol to my colors and, and uh, get it to a nice creamy consistency. Um, so the background color here is Sky Blue Light from Amsterdam. Uh, and then I decided to go with the monochromatic um, look. So it's basically a couple blues, black and white. So the first blue I have is Brilliant Blue by Artist Loft. Just have a little bit left. And then I have blue, Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. God, I love that shade. I have, um, I, if you ever buy Artist Loft's um, multi-pack paints, they always give you those little tiny samples that are like wee little tiny little tubes. So I took four of those little tubes and squeeze them into my cup. And uh, this is Lamp Black. And then um, the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in Titanium White. And then, so I put down my blue first and then I started stamping. And the thing is, if, you're, if your base is wet and you go to stamp, it's gonna pull up the white um, and make really pretty flowers. And a lot of you have done the really pretty flowers and you get like little petal effects because it pulls up the white and you won't get a circle. So I had to leave the background dry first. Now for the layering on top of each other, you can do that when it's wet because when you stamp and you press, 
um, you're not leaving, you know, globs of paint behind. So you can still stamp. You don't have to like do a layer and wait, do a layer and wait. The only thing you have to wait for is your base to dry. Once that's dry, you're good to go and you can do your entire painting. Um, with that said, I was trying for negative space but I was so carried away with, you know, stamping, I forgot to make my bend. And I just don't like this guy. This one, this one, I like um, the composition much better than this one. So there's really no way for me to fix this. The only thing I can do is just say, the heck with the, with the negative space in the bend I was trying for, and just add a couple more, um, medallions and and fill it up so that's the plan that way you guys can see and this will be a much shorter video let me drink my coffee because it's Monday morning mm. um, and then for balloons I just bought a pack of balloons it was quite the ordeal who knew that finding a pack of balloons was so hard and customer what is it customer value service customer value service if you don't know what customer value service is that's the true name of cvs a drugstore here in the states they don't carry balloons i don't mean like helium balloons or streamers but just a pack of like kids balloons get couldn't find them i had like we had to drive all over the place looking for a pack of balloons but i finally found some uh and i blew them up to three different sizes so I have one here that's like, you know, the size of a cantaloupe or something that was used for my big guys. And then I keep them, everything sitting on top of a cup um, so they don't go bouncing away because I have a cat, need I say more. And then I made a little guy here and it looks wonky like this shape. Um, and you can tell I used it for stamping and I liked it this way and it, when you don't blow it up all the way, it leaves that little um, point at the end, so it has like a little nipple, which is really great for, for smashing because it helps make a cool design in the middle of your medallion. And then I just have my cute little, my red, my little red guy here for the little baby one. So I wanted a variety of sizes. Um, so all I do is, I don't have a syringe or anything, I just give my leftover paint. They're getting a little thick, but that's okay. Um, a good mix and then I just pick a spot on my canvas and I need something here maybe here and here and maybe one on this one so I'm going to show you a couple and that'll be it because you're going to get the gist there's no need for you to watch it over and over and then I'll do a, a close-up so you can see what it looks like um, and give you a couple tips along the way so let me do one i have a lot of black here so let me do um a lighter one like a white with a blue right right in here maybe a medium-sized little guy uh as you can tell i don't worry about wiping off my balloon every time because as you stamp you can but you're adding more paint so as long as you're adding more paint it really doesn't get muddy so I found that it was just a, a wasted effort to clean off my balloon um, each time for each new medallion. So let me take my white, get rid of my sticks. And I just bent the hell out of my cups to make a nice little point to pour. And I wanted to overlap a little bit with this guy. So I'm gonna put it kind of close to there. And that's pretty good. Add a dollop of white, and I'm gonna use my same sky blue. And put a dollop there, something like that. And then maybe a, a dash of the blue green. I don't know. I just make it up as I go, honestly. And then for this one, I'm going to use a medium size one and use that little point. If you don't have a little point in your balloon, no worries. It'll still do the same thing. I found that um, less is more with those. If you have a lot of paint or use a lot too much paint, 
Um, you can make your medallion bigger than what you intended, one. And two, it doesn't make um, the design in the middle. I'm trying to find one. Like I have this blue guy here. I don't know if you can see it. It's more solid blue with a little pattern. It's because there was a lot of paint there. And once it settled down, the blue filled in and just made more of just a plain, a plainer sphere. So, so I just take this, stick it in. And the trick is to keep it straight. Like don't let your balloon wiggle around too much. And then I come up and voila, there's a really pretty pattern in there too with the little lines. And I don't even bother wiping that off. Maybe I want another white one over here. I think I do. So can you see that corner over there? I'm going to see if I have enough paint to stick one here. And if not, I'll just go right over it again. So let me do a little guy right there. I don't think I have enough paint, but we'll see. I might. There. Yeah, it's a little... It's a little wishy-washy. So let me add a little more white to that guy. Right here. Bloop. And a little more of the sky blue. We'll put it off to the side and maybe a little bit, just a drop. That. There you go. Give that a smash. I also saved my um, light skylight blue, and then oh, I don't have it around. Basically, I take a paintbrush, not this one, but I take a paintbrush, and if I splooge anywhere, I just brush it off and then paint it with my blue. And um, easy to correct mistakes, like that dollop of white. Oh, that just came right off. So things like that. All right, let me try this again. Maybe make it a little bit bigger to overlap. And then come up. Mm, do I like that design? I started getting much more picky with my, uh, my design too, in the center. That's pretty. I'll leave that there. No, I don't like that. I take that back, I'm gonna drop a I do want to drop a blue green. I'm gonna put some green, blue green right in the middle of that. So you can just keep playing. That's the beauty of, it, of this one for sure. Is you can just keep dorking around. And if you decide you don't like a, I think this is gonna suddenly be much darker, but that's okay too. Oh, pretty. Keeping that guy. That's great. So one here, one there. We're just gonna fill up a couple spots. Um, maybe another one right here. And I like it lighter, so I'm gonna just put white. Whoa, and I just splooged my white everywhere. <laughs> I don't worry about getting it all off. Like I said, it's just it's easy to easy enough to clean up. Uh, and maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm going to stick with the blue-green. I like the blue-green. Let's put a drop of him. And we'll go over this dark one a little bit and do a layer over him. I don't want to go over my edges, though. That was like a conscious choice not to go over the edges. pretty. I'm going to keep that guy. Got a splash of white. Where else? Let me stare at it a second. But that it's already better. It is already better. I need something. Let me look. Those two helped a lot. The other thing I like about this too is since you can stamp over your medallions and, and over the layers, um, one thing I was trying to do, besides, there's like a lot to think about. Because you got to think about your composition. 
you got to think about your color placement that it's balanced and you have to think about your layers whether or not they're balanced so as I stare at this um, I look at things like there was a medallion under these four like do I want to leave that one showing there or do I want to go ahead and stamp and then I got to think about well if I stamp I'm gonna lose a part of this one and definitely a part of this one so do I keep it or leave it and that's something I, I look at um, if you start at one end and just stamp your way up and then go up you're gonna have hardly any layers at one end and, and a ton of layers at the other so make sure you move all over your canvas and decide where you're gonna put your layers on top of each other um, you can always go back like I said like hmm you know this guy is really buried and it looks like there's one two three four sitting on top if I wanted to I would do another big one right here um, I'm not going to because I'm in love with this medallion right there so I'm gonna leave it but that would be something I would consider or the way that these two merge I could do another one here but then I would lose I would wreck four so those are all the types of things that are going through my my brain as I do this um, the hardest part of this is basically getting um, getting your circles perfect and so it's better almost to use two hands and go straight down and, and lift straight up. Because if you do one hand and wiggle it around, you're gonna get an oval. Um, it's just harder. So, all right, what else? Yeah. So I need something here and maybe a little guy here and that'll be it for this one. So let me do I already have a little black and white one. So let me do my brilliant blue. Right, let me get rid of the stick. Do a brilliant blue. I wanna I wanna overlap that little guy a little bit. I'm gonna put that right there. And then the brilliant blue with the black, I think. Looking good. Uh, and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my little one this time because I don't want it so big. And give this a smush. that size yep Ooh, that's pretty a little plain on the one side so let's be picky and give it just a little half smush see if we can get out anything in the middle nope I made it worse let's get a little on the dark side too just a little on the dark side so let's add a dollop of white let's put some white in there And smush that down. I'm gonna make it almost the same size. Let's see if that does anything. Oh, there we go. That's pretty. Do I like that it has blue edges and not all the way over? I do not. See that now. Th this is why I. Uh, I decided to just show you a couple because this is what I did last night and like the video was incredibly long and as far as I'm concerned was incredibly boring because it was just me like yeah I don't like it you know what I mean um, and I, I didn't feel like I was really teaching anything new so uh, I think it's better that I just show these couple and you guys get the idea that's better I'll go with that one um, where else I was counting medallions too to make sure I had um, almost the same amount on either. Um, I think one, I'm almost done. I think one here just to get over to this edge 
And then I'm gonna swap out and do two over here and that'll be it. So three more and we're done. I still don't like that not being on the edge. I really don't like that. I want it all the way over. So picky. Oh, that was the wrong shade of blue. That's all right. We'll add some brilliant blue to that. That's going to be too dark. Let's do all the colors. I don't think I've done one with all the colors. Let's mix them all in. All right, try this again. Third time's the charm. See, it's wiggling around. So I need two hands. Like that one? Nope. This one's giving me fits. There we go. That's pretty. There we go. Much better. All right. And then sometimes I'll cheat. And I'll just take my stick and I'll stick a little bit on the on the um, tip of the balloon and see if I have enough paint for like a little guy. Like maybe a little guy out here by himself. Just a little baby. Like that. And it's not round. This is why you need two hands. As it slides around. There we go. Oh, that's a pretty one too there. Do I like him all by himself? I kind of do. He's lonely. He wants to be with his friends, but he's in timeout or something. Uh, so let me switch these guys out and put this one closer to me. And we'll just add two to this one and be done. Yeah, I like in the composition better, for sure. So, this one, I might only need one. Like right in, either here or here. Something to closer to the edge. I'm not going to do it there because it's too close to those. I'm going to do one. This might be the last one right here. Let me see. I got some uh, white ones around it. I got the brilliant blue. Let me go with the, I'm gonna go with the sky blue and the green blue. And we're gonna put him right in here. I should put down this, the green blue first. And then the sky blue. our pointy guy again. Bring him down. Go ahead, you can run into both. You can overlay both of those. Oh, perfect. Oh, that one is gorgeous. Love that. That's what that one needed. Let me look at the composition now. This one is definitely done. So this one is done. This one is heavy on the medallions on, on the one side and kind of light here. So I am gonna go ahead and add another one just for the weight of it. So it's weighted evenly on both sides. And colors, colors. Let's go brilliant blue. Yeah, 
a little bit of white and this should do the trick. size do I want? Let's go medium. I don't need large anymore. And like I said, I'm not going to worry about that on there so much. I did mess up that one. I stuck my sleeve in it. I am such a klutz, honest to God. Good thing I'm wearing my painting sweater. And I just blooped on this guy. Let me get that off before it dries. No. All right. I'm gonna have to retouch up that guy. All right. We'll come back to him. Oh, is that gorgeous, you guys? Look at that one. I'm gonna come back and just go over this guy again since I splooged on him. a dollar of paint. Let's do the brilliant. Wow, so pretty. Let me stare, see if I'm done. Covered up that one guy that was all alone. I don't like this guy. I have blue on my balloon already. So these can go. Do I like you? No, I don't like you. Do I like you now? Mm, you're okay, you need a pop of color. You need some color in your wardrobe. Can't wear black all the time like I do. For Pete's sakes. Why are the little ones the hardest? It's kind of boring dangerously close to the edge. Let me add. See why would the white it would take so long? Like if you watch this whole thing, like it'd be worse than watching paint the paint dry, really. Oh, that's better. I like that one better. All right. Now let me look. Because I do want to have a little bit of the white, or the light blue showing. I think that one's really nicely balanced now. How about this other one? I think I'm done. 
I'm gonna stop there. Cause man, you could just you could just keep going and going like a little energizer bunny and keep going. Let me see if I'm gonna touch up any. I'm um, gonna fix the one. I don't know about that guy there. I kind of feel like he's a do-over. That big white one. Just because I don't like the pattern in the middle. See, I told you, man, you, you can just get so picky. If you're like me, just picky. Okay, this is definitely the last one. Fixing this guy, and then that's it. And then I'll give, give you guys a close-up. him up a little and then medium oh so pretty leaving it no, I'm not. I'm such a liar. You know why I changed my mind? It's because I don't like how they're, the, I don't like it when they're, they're too matchy-matchy. Told you, man, just, you can go on and on. Way too matchy-matchy. So let me do black with sky blue. And get this how I want it and then be done. my big guy yeah. it'd be nice to have a big one as a top layer actually come to think of it are you gonna be too dark let me see yeah too dark wow I'll put anything in the middle. Ugh. I just don't want any two to look the same. I came around to behind the camera so I can get a good, good smush. Oh, and I'm off. Uh, that's really pretty. That's, that, that's, that's a keeper right there. We keep that one. Put that back in that little thing. And I will probably take, I have um, this little tool too. You can use the end of a popsicle stick, whatever, whatever's handy with a little tip. And I'm just going to run some of my white to the edge there on that black all the way. So it makes my circle. It gives like the mumsy look too. I'll probably go, I'm gonna do, I'll do that off camera. I will go all the way around this circle and do that. Um, a little feathery look. I've done that other places like in this guy. And there was another one that really looked like a mum flower. This one here. 
or it's still a circle, but it has like the feathery edges. I've left it like that on a couple places just because I thought it looked cool. So that's really pretty. I like the multiple colors and it doesn't match this one over here. Should I put this side by side? And that was a good call right there too, to have a big one on top. Need you guys to talk to me, tell me where you want one. Otherwise, I think he thinks it's done. The only other place I could think to do one would be up here, but I really don't want to mess with, I love all those medallions, so I'm not gonna do it. Done. You have to walk away at some point. So let me get you down. This will be dry, like the medallions I just did, they'll be dry in an hour. Like seriously, I'll be able to uh, varnish this in a couple days. I dried that fast, because it's so, everything's so thin. Um, but here, here's like the new one I did right there. He's pretty. And these guys here look like mumsies, some of them. Down here, I love that white one. He's pretty cool. And I like the last big guy I just did. Where'd he go? Yeah, he's pretty great. And then over on the other canvas, there's a new guy right there. Oh, right there. It's a new one. Another new one right here. Where's my finger? Right there. My favorites are this black guy here. Oops. These, this whole section here, this whole part right here is the best of the two uh, canvases. They're just like, I was on a roll. There's just some stunning ones in here. That guy, this guy, this one up here, this one here, like they're all just winners. So let me come up high so you can see what they look like. And that's it, a lot of fun. Uh, my eyes are watering terribly. Uh, a nice little break from the uh, fluid acrylic, I think. Um, it reminded me a lot of the sponge painting I did a while back uh, in the summertime last summer. Uh, I go on vacation in a couple days, so it's feast time for you guys, and it'll be in famine mode. I will do one more pour since I have the day off. I might do one more today, and that'll be it for about a week. So uh, I'll see you guys soon, and thanks for your love and support. Take care. Bye-bye.